everybody this is Sylvia welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to go ahead and share with you another Dollar Tree haul um, so let's get started because I do have a lot of items um, just because there's so many new things that have been coming in um, I definitely took another trip so the first thing here that I found is another Crayola washable paint for some reason I thought I hadn't gotten red and I think I didn't so I ended up getting red then I ended up getting some storage supplies, so I ended up getting these. I hadn't seen any of these in any of my stores. These are the Essentials Drawer Organizer, and it's 13.5 inches by 3.75 inches by 2. So I definitely ended up getting four. They had a lot at the other store that I, the first store that I went to, they didn't have any. They only had um, the other one that I'm going to show you that I think it's at the bottom of all this stuff. So I'll show you later, but it's a, a wider one that's one that I ended up getting um, let me go ahead and keep going there's like a mess in the box so there's not in they're in no order at all um, the other thing that I found was this crafter square sparkle yarn which is really cool I'm gonna be um, using these um, on my uh, whether it's my pocket letters or my books that I do so I'll definitely I'll be using that they only had this pink this other um, like baby green color and then they had this other blue one so I ended up getting these three I think they might have had another color yellow maybe or white I, I did it I think it was white and yellow I think I didn't get the white one because it just gets too dirty and the yellow one um, I just rather just get these three so I just got those from that area let me see what else I got I also got this crafter square embossing stylus um, double ended for some reason I feel like I've already bought one of these maybe it might have been a different one I don't know but I ended up getting this one um, I could definitely see using it for um, uh, whether it's embossing you can also use it if you're um, doing creases um, I've seen people using it when they're doing flowers so there's definitely a lot of things you can use that for the other thing that I got were these craft clamps which for some reason I think I already have these are, if I remember correctly, these are one of the items that came out at the beginning when Crafter Square started making stuff. But I ended up just getting them just because I'm like, I don't know where the other ones are. And I was working on something the other day and I would wish I would have had it because I could have used that. Um, oh, I got these. I ended up getting two of these just because um, they're detailing scissors and they are really pointy. I've gotten some of these before. Um, but in another brand and I figured I was gonna try these but they're so like tiny and I like them because you're literally able to like like if you're doing um, fuzzy cutting you can definitely use these last time I got paint they didn't have this one and I should have gotten another one just because of these are brighter colors the other ones were like more like the like the red and um, blue it was just not as bright um, so I should have gotten another one but I couldn't when I found this one, they had this one and the other option. They didn't have this one. Um, I'm actually enjoying my coffee. Because I'm doing this all right before I start work. I start working a few hours, so I'm definitely trying to take advantage of my time at all times whenever I can right now. I forgot what I was saying, but well, when I was when I found this one, they only had one. The other ones were the other set that I got, so... Um, I should have I should I did see them later but I totally forgot because I was I literally go in there and I look for specific items and then I leave I'm not hanging out I wish I could really hang out but I don't with everything going on I'm trying to be extra safe I do my dad is older so I can't really afford to I'm not just risking myself I'm risking my family so I really try to like quickly get in and out anything that I can shop online that's what I do that was a side rant for a minute there but Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, I ended up getting this pop dot adhesives from Crafter Square. This one has 528 pieces and I like this because you can use these to, um, uh, if you're doing cards, if you're doing uh, books, if you're doing um, any type of art that you wanna pop up the item, that, this is what I use. This is what I use a lot on my um, cards that I do. This one is a random one. I know it's not related to crafting, but I use this 
for two reasons. One, because I always like to have a candle in my craft room, and two, because lately I've been using a lot of, um, I've been doing what's called ear savers for masks. So I use this to pretty much um, burn out the end of the um, the ribbon. That way, when it's um, when I use this on it, it will not fray anymore. So that's why I got this one, and I have this one but i just feel like so crazy when i'm trying to use this in the craft room and then the other ones are too small i really wanted to just to try this one out if this one works i'll try to get another one if i can find them because we've learned our lessons once you find something at dollar tree you might never find it back so hopefully they have them and hopefully i like this and i can get another one so I've been looking for these erasable highlighters for the longest time at Dollar Tree and I haven't had any luck. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I haven't. I really want the highlighters and I don't know why because it's not like I use highlighters a lot, but I just want them. But in my search of that, I came across these um, Ink Read 2 Blast um, pins. I've bought from them before. I actually have a little tray here with a lot of pins, but I don't think there are any in here. But I have some of these and they are awesome pins. These are a little bit thinner. They're 0.7 um, millimeters, so the, the point. So this one might be not as thick. I like them to be medium point. That's just my preference. But I really like these two colors. So I ended up getting these. They had other colors. I was just not interested in all of them. All right, let's see what else is there. I have a lot of stuff, like a lot, it's crazy. Let's get some of this food stuff out. So my husband really likes um, anything that is noodles or, or um, I don't know what else I could call this, but like ramen, that's what I was trying to use, the word ramen. So he, we started off liking these instant ones, but then we got into the real ramen. So right now with us not being able to um, we don't live near an area that sells really good one. So he got these, he got two of these. I don't eat any of this. I don't need any type of um, items that have gluten or at least I do my best not to. There are some things that I do have but I try to avoid anything that has a lot of sodium, that has gluten. Um, but this one I had a little bit of it. He liked it but because I haven't had it in such a long time I wasn't very fond of it but he loved it. He loved it and he likes to try any that he sees out there. So this one is from Nissin. Uh, it has shrimp, it's hot. It says hot and spicy, ready in three minutes. No MSG added, which is good. It comes with a chili packet. And this one's at 3.27 ounces. So that was pretty good. Okay, so. Um, food, food, food. Okay, so I love these. The Boom Chicka Pop. I was actually gonna get the ones that you do yourself, like the ones that you um, put in the microwave. But I ended up getting this one just because I like to have a snack here and there and I'm trying to really watch what I eat because I've realized that me being locked up, and I say locked up because I'm literally at home all day. Like I'm working from home. I only go out for minimal essential trips that I have to do and that's pretty much it. So. I found myself eating stuff that I shouldn't be eating so I'm really trying to take care of my health so I ended up getting two of these um, that they had there instead of the ones that are instant I'd rather pay an extra dollar to have I'd rather just pay two dollars to have two li little bags that I can munch on here and there instead of having the one dollar three packets which have all this other uh, added stuff to it um, and then so I got some um, hard candy i got the lemon flavored sugar free um fat free sweet with splenda um hard candy um i got some of these for my dad he's very like anti-salt anti-sugar so i'm gonna see if he enjoys these um i also got these uh chewy caramels oh these i forgot to tell you these are three ounces um this one here is 1.25 ounces so i generally when i have a snack um, I tried to make sure that it has protein. So this bag would be perfect because I kind of don't eat a lot in a sitting. Um, these I got because I, my dad likes these a lot, but they didn't have the sugar-free ones. So I'm going to be like, hey, I got you these. Maybe he'll like them. I don't know, but I couldn't find the sugar-free ones. And then I got these, um, the sugar-free caramel um, candies. 
I got I think I got two of these I got two of these I really like the peppermint ones but to be honest something in this and I somebody had told me before I can't remember what it is freaking gives you gas <laughs> so I can't have a lot I can just have one here randomly there I don't know it's some something that it has I don't remember what it is it's something from the fake sugars or something like that but anyway that might have been too much information but that's the truth if you've had these before you might understand what I'm saying another food item I don't think there's another food item I'll just share this this is I got this little water bottle for my sister because um, there are times that um, she um, wants to have water and um, she um, she has a harder time when carrying items. I, I was trying to look for one that had a handle, but then I don't. The straw things for her are not the best. So, look, I can't even open this. Oh, it's really strong. Oh, that's good because that means it won't fall, but we'll have to help her get it. But I kind of got her this, see if she likes it. I wish she has really small hands. So, for her, I mean, for me, this is easy, but I don't know. I'm going to have to try it out and see if that's something that will work for her. Um. And then let me see what else I have here. Um, I guess I'm going to cleaning supplies. I was there to look for more spick and span for my sister-in-law because she can't find any. And I was like, I'll go. I think there's some. But my mistake was that when I went, they didn't have the one that they only had a few. I didn't think about grabbing more. So I ended up finding this uh, Barkeeper's Friend Cleanser. If you've used this before, I had never seen this before. My husband is the one that introduced me to this. And it's awesome. It cleans off like your most hard to clean pots. Um, it does work. Um, I do have to really read the directions though. I wear gloves whenever we use them just because it does have a lot of chemicals in it. Uh, and I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying like when you use it, you want to just protect your hands, read the directions. My husband um, knows a lot about that kind of stuff. So that's why he was like, no, wear your gloves, make sure you're safe. But I got this one. Uh, he got this, that one from my mother-in-law just so that she can go ahead and um, try it out for her pans. Um, especially now because they have been cooking a lot over there at the house. So. All right, so let me go ahead and go into, I think that was, uh, oh, I guess I used, I got this toothpicks because apparently I didn't have any at home, but I found some that same day when we got home. We do have some, but I wanted to use it because when I do my nails, I, I use the, um, I don't remember what they're called, the little sticks they use for your nails to like clean your cuticle area. But I use these for when I'm doing my nails. I actually use it to clean off the edges. That way nothing stays there and you don't have to deal with it after. So I ended up getting a pack of these just specifically for my nail stuff. I ended up getting some regular nail polish remover because I have some, but it's the actual, um, it's the actual 100% acetone. And so that one is, takes my whole nail off if I'm not careful. So that's the reason why I, ended up getting that one and also for when I do my pedicures I guess um, I got this somebody had mentioned this one last time I got the one only but this one comes in two which I love it's and I think this the one that I have is more pink than this one so this one it comes with two it doesn't say it and um, I mean it just says a number G1101200 which I might I don't know if they say it, they probably say it in the back and then the other ones, MBK11013. I wish they would label the names, but then again, they make so many that they probably will lose track. I don't know, but I like this one. I did try one of the, the other one that I bought last time, and I really liked it. All right. Nail stuff. I think that was it. Let me go to this is uh, essential oil. So I mentioned before we've been doing our own hand sanitizer. So I ended up getting this one that says ready to use dropper. This one's a lavender scent. And I got this one because this one says you can use it for massage, for natural moisturizer and ar aromatherapy. So I got this one to put into the hand sanitizer because I need some type of smell. Otherwise it smells like just alcohol. And it's mixed with the aloe vera gel. So that way uh, hopefully it gets a different scent. The other thing that I found related to like self care or beauty, um, I had mentioned, or I think I had made a haul where I had talked about the charcoal one, 
which is this one which is the activated charcoal um, which you can use I use this one specifically for my face and I think this one this one says new so I ended up getting three because we I actually use it every day um, sorry so I, I I bought this one this one's 4.25 ounces and I got that one I got three of those and then I also found this one which is a creamy coconut this one says so this one says uh, moisturizing bath bath bar activated charcoal with benetine bentonite clay to help cleanse and purify skin and then I got this other one that says smooth and hydrate with she butter shea butter aloe and vitamin E this one says so this was more like a moisturizing and this one's to like purify the skin and then I got this other one that's an avocado al aloe and avocado this one says nourishes skin with creamy avocado and olive extracts so I don't know this one's smoothing this one's nourishing I don't know but I we got these two to try them out see what how they are just because like I said I've been washing my face more just because I haven't been using anything on my face I feel like I really feel like because I don't have anything on my face, my oils are like coming out more. I don't know, it's weird, but I really just, when I take a shower, uh, I'm not even trying to put any lotion or anything. I just pretty much am natural all day. Which I probably should be putting something, but I, I literally feel so oily at the end of the day, like a lot. Um, I also found this one. I haven't seen this one before. This one's a charcoal eucalyptus plant-based scented soap sulfate and para paraben free and it's vegan i don't know what this one's about i haven't i just got it because it was next to these so i got this one and i'm like i buy i'm buying all this soap like i'm really gonna use all of it within the next few weeks which i'm not but i'll let you guys know if i remember to share with you the other thing i found were these ultimate white um it just says ultimate white charcoal powder natural whitener no har harmful bleacher gel so pretty much it's for your teeth and i've been trying to look for an option to whiten my teeth and i found these two my husband's very hesitant not hesitant he's kind of like eh, i don't know but um i'm gonna go ahead and try it and see i don't even know what it looks like uh, it just sounds like a powder with that being said i don't want to use my regular toothbrush so i ended up getting these soft toothbrushes um oh this just so you know this one's 0.35 ounces i was really skeptical because they're the last two they're not haven't been touched though i checked all right so these are just random things that we found in the toy section transformers um like little figurines they're like collect uh, many figurines are collectible items uh, we got Megatron, Starscream, and Optimus Prime. I've seen them before. Uh, we are from, you know, the generation that has watched the Transformers, so we ended up getting those. Oh, here's the one I couldn't show you because it was at the bottom of everything. So this is the, the one only one that I found. This one is uh, drawer organizer as well, 9.75 by 6.75 by 2. So that's what I got, but it was just those. My room is pretty much black, pink, and white. I know it's a random colors, but that's kind of what I've been working with, so I got th this one. I move that out of the way. Why did I get these? I don't know, but I told my husband, mm, I think we would have fun with these. So I ended up getting these Bubble Fun two-piece bubble wands. And because we actually have decided that on the weekends, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, we just kind of sit out there, hang out while I'm doing my nails. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This was probably a random one. I don't buy any of this stuff at the Dollar Tree, but like I mentioned before, I've only gone to like stores that are for food, which for me is Aldi, like a little mom and pop's little market that's just food related. And I've been to Costco, and that's pretty, and Costco, it's been a while to be honest. So, I ended up getting these just because I'm running out. These are just uh. It says Maxi Super Unscented uh, 16 Pads. I'm hoping it's just the little small everyday ones. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I think that's all that I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.